Also on this Memorial Day, a Virginia Beach woman is concerned that the city is about to trample over graves in the name of progress. It's a road widening and improvement project in Pungo. Ten on your side discovered there is a lot of history out there. There are also homeowners who don't want to lose their land. Pungo is known for its strawberry festival. Once a year, it's bursting with visitors, but the rest of the time, it's peaceful, in parts undisturbed for hundreds of years. Bonaparte Moore, he had served in the Confederacy. There are many family plots on land out here, and Debbie Melton discovered more graves inside this area fenced in orange along Princess Anne Road, an area the city plans to take out as part of a widening project. I had this probe made because I was absolutely convinced that these were graves. Melton went poking around on her own after the city did a ground study. Poking and poking until I hit stone. Then she started digging and digging and hit another. It was so obviously a grave. Um, I got the city historian back down here and the consultants back down here and they agreed that yes, those were graves. Consecrated land, Melton argues, that should not be disturbed, but the city is moving ahead. The next step is to do some minor excavation and we will uh, follow the state procedures and handle the remains if they turn out to be graves. They've already put notice out to the public in case family wants to claim the remains or others want a public hearing. So and far, Melton is the only one who's responded. She's probably more concerned about the impacts to her property than the actual grave. <laughs> Melton does stand to lose a lot of her front yard if the project goes through. It's not about me. It's not about my house. Now, she admits that's why she started researching the history, but now says it's about more than her lot in life. Amazing opportunity to learn more about the early settlers, particularly in the 1700s. And we're just, well, we're just plowing it on by. Or are we saving the living from a dangerous road? The road project is now six months behind schedule. And if the process of dealing with the graves goes on through the summer, the city says it may then decide to redesign the project. If the state gives them the green light to proceed, they'll remove the remains and then rebury them, either on the same land or if a family member comes forward, they can decide.